Hey guys, welcome to another video for SimonsVideo.com and my name is Simon Tay and today I'm going to share some top Android application for your TV Android boxes. Today I'm going to use the DSA LED battery projector from Innovative.com.sg as an example to showcase some of the application that I've installed. First thing first, let's get down to file management application. Uh, I Personally, I really like ES File Explorer. Okay, so basically this is ES File Explorer. As you can see, the user interface is very user friendly, and uh, especially the white themes is very ran random sense of uh, the window kind of view, and you can sort according to the alphabetical order and the, the size of the icons can be sorted as well. Okay, so let's get down to my external hard drive and go to my YouTube upload videos you can actually browse a uh, micro sd card uh, flash drive external hard disk and your internal hard disk and the good thing about this is you can actually sort according to uh, the alphabetical order in terms of the large icon uh, a large list large details so if you choose large details small icon but uh, with details you can actually see uh, the more details of each individual file. You can press and hold for a long period of time and uh, you'll be able to select multiple files to uh, either copy, cut, delete or rename which is pretty awesome. If you notice there is a team option, these team options you can unlock by downloading an application which is some kind of a, uh, advertisement for ES File Explorer. So once you download that you can actually change the team to black color in, in such a way that it is not so bright in the middle of the night if you want to uh, browse for some videos to watch you can actually see a darker theme so this application is definitely one of the must have okay for the next application that i would like to recommend is called cloud tv simply go to your browser and search for cloud tv.bz so Okay, so basically you go to cloudtv.bz and you should be able to see a lot in screen. Okay, there's some overlapping words here, but ignore that. Go to login and log in from here. If you have not uh, registered, go create an account and you should be able to see the account. Okay, this is the dashboard that you will be able to see after you log in. You can see on the right side, there's a get application on the right side this purple icon with the android logo click on that and then you should be able to see the latest application download through direct or torrent click on direct and you should be able to download it and open via the browser just once and you will be downloading at the background and you ask you whether if you really want to download you press yes and you'll be downloading at the background okay there you go since i already uh, installed i do not need to reinstall again uh, unless i want to update this application so i press cancel for you just press install okay let's get down to new cloud tv and i see what you can get continue okay the free premium tv uh it, it is a trial version you do not need to click on that uh personally i only like the free channels and the DIY content, you can uh, do it some other time. Uh, the, the pros and cons of this uh, new Cloud TV application is you get to see a lot of uh, live shows, for example, those sports channels, Fox News, Fox Action Movie, Chinese, China, a lot of countries' uh, live shows are available for you to actually watch. Obviously, the streaming speed sometimes may or may not be fast, so you might want to pause it and wait for it to buffer before you watch the TV shows right over here. But the downside is you cannot reverse and go back to watch from the beginning of each show. So basically, this is over the air, uh, the kind of uh, live stream through the internet. So you can see there's a lot of channels for you to to watch and. There's also a category that you can actually sort according to what kind of category. Like for example, you want to watch movies, you got the channels for movies. You, if you want to sort according to news, you can actually see what kind of news that you want to watch. Uh, news is particularly useful for people who want to see the current affairs of certain countries. So you're going to research on that particular country's 
what their live channels are and then you go and watch them and especially the sport channels is very very interesting so the the, the upside is you can watch all this channel for free the downside is you cannot go back and watch for the beginning of each tv shows that you started watching so for movie wise i i do not really recommend this for news and sports is uh, very very interesting you can actually watch it you can also choose the area which country that you want to uh, take note of so you can actually find your own personal country and watch the tv shows of that country you can choose language as well so you can just uh, choose the english channel and then you'll be able to see all this channel that is available in english which is pretty awesome okay the next application that i'd like to recommend is called shafa market shafa market it is a store for chinese entertainment application that you can actually download through shafa market so go to the browser and type in shafa.com and you should be able to see this website shafa.com and download the apk from there the apk to download and you can choose browser click on just once and press ok okay once it's finished downloading you'll start installing okay since i already installed i do not need to reinstall this again basically shafa market allows you to install a lot of china entertainment tv dramas movies and a lot more than that so basically you go to the essentials which is this green color button and you should be able to see uh, what you can install the tv application the apps and the games so i've installed tv essentials which is another application to install more applications for watching tvs as you can see from here there is also the nan gua dianing i also installed this pptv pptv gtv this is a sports version of a pptv uh, Douyu Zibo Dian, this is uh, live shows, but you already have Cloud TV, so doesn't matter. Zibo Di is also a live TV application. Dian Shi Mao Shi Ping, this is also another TV application. Okay, so let's go to the TV section and click on the video button. Here, you you are able to see what is the top application and the latest application you can sort according to the latest application or you can sort according to the ratings ratings is the one that i usually see because uh, whether or not it work it depends heavily on the ratings so one thing to note is the nan gua dianing is more on the western uh, tv shows and movies which is very very nice uh, the Morley tv more tv and and the Morley Si Ping and the rest is more on uh, China TV shows and open it up Scarlett Johansson okay as you can see that is the speed is uh, relatively fast you need to drag all the way down there's different categories of uh, TV shows you notice a lot of these Chinese uh, TV show application does have VIP section where you need to pay money for subscription in order to uh, watch all those VIP section and the last part which is the Chen Pu Dianing you click on here which is all the shows they have a lot of categories so if you do if you know how to read Chinese this is the best app for you to watch uh, Western Hollywood TV shows I like the last second Shang Si and Bing Du this uh, zombies and virus meaning uh, all those zombie version of the movies is here let's go back to another app recommendation you also have crunchyroll crunchyroll is another application for you to watch anime manga and things like that that is free for you to watch but the speed wise is not as fast as i would like so sometimes it might be slightly slow so you might want to wait for it to buffer before watching so there's so much anime that you can watch crunchyroll is one of my favorite uh, to watch anime another one is to watch hong kong drama it's called a drama you can download this in google play store you do not need to pay any money for this so they are in cantonese so if you know cantonese 
this is for you. But however, beyond the A drama, this uh, application seems to have a little bit of bug. Sometimes it might have some kind of prompt uh, notifying you that the the application has stopped running. So uh, to to solve that, you need to shut down the application. Up totally okay last but not least i would like to recommend viu for tablets yes viu for tablets can be downloaded from the google play store and you can potentially watch been watch actually a lot of korean tv dramas even japanese tv dramas and a little bit of thai tv dramas it is one of the best application i i personally find to watch all these tv dramas it does have some advertisement though and um you can see all all the TV dramas does have all the episodes that is available to binge watch. All right, so basically that's it for this video, and I hope this video actually helps you out. One for warning is uh, all this application does change over time. Sometimes it might work now, it might not work later because of some changes or update to the application. So you use it at your own risk, and it's your own responsibility to use them. So basically, this video is just a recommendation as a review of all this application and it's really up to you if you really want them i hope this video really helps you out and uh, basically thank you very much for watching and i really appreciate you guys so basically that's it thank you very much and have a nice day see ya bye bye